By default, the security rules on an OpenStack instance are completely locked down. So in order to access network services, you'll need to create security rules that permit access to those ports. Here's how we do that. I'm going to create a new security group. Now, of course, I could just apply the default one, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to make a new one. I need to give it a name. and a description. Now I'm going to edit the rules in that group. There aren't any yet, so let's start by adding a rule for ping. Ping is an ICMP protocol, and for this one you actually need to know the values to go in here. So the, uh, the type is minus 1 and the code is 255 and that defines the ICMP port range that you're going to permit ping on. Next I'm going to allow SSH traffic. That is a TCP protocol and it is on port 22. Now I'm going to allow HTTP traffic, which is on port 80. And you'll notice that you can actually specify a range of addresses if you want to be more specific as to who can access these ports. And then, for good measure, I'm also going to allow HTTPS which is port 443. So now I've got a, a basic set of ports that I allow traffic to, and I'm going to apply this to my instance. So I go over here to Instances. I select Edit Security Rules from the drop-down, and I add this new security group that I have just created. Going over to my terminal window, you can see that I can now ping this instance. So that works. And also that I can SSH to it. Oops, that didn't work. So this leads up to my next session in which I'll show you how to add your SSH key to your OpenStack installation so that you can in fact SSH into the instances that you have launched. Thanks for watching.